Calf Nutrition and Management Part 1 Topics to Discuss Development of the Calf's Digestive System Importance Colostrum for the Immune System Nutrients Needs of Calves for Healthy and Grow Well Calves are monogastric, simple, stomached from birth to about two weeks of age. The abomasum is the only stomach compartment actively involved in digestion, and milk or milk replacer provides the main nutrients for the calf. Anatomy of calf stomach. At birth, the calf's stomach contains the same four compartments found in adult ruminants. However, the calf's reticulum, rumen, and omasum are inactive and undeveloped. The newborn's functional stomach, the abomasum is similar to a human stomach. At birth, the rumen has little tissue development and lacks a population of microorganisms. The calf depends mainly on its digestive enzymes released primarily from the abomasum and small intestine, that help bring down the fats, non-fiber carbohydrates and protein. Esophageal groove. In the young calf, some liquids can bypass the rumen, and flow directly to the abomasum through the esophageal groove. This is a picture of esophageal groove. Colostrum feeding. Colostrum milk is the first milk secreted by the cow after calving. Colostrum milk, as compared to regular milk, is high in fat, non-fatty solids, total protein, and antibodies that protect against disease. Initial colostrum feeding. Within 10 minutes a liquid forms a clot in the abomasum due to enzymes, and HCL acting on casein and fat in the milk. Clotting bin. DS much of the casein and fat into a clump or a curd. Stomach enzymes digest the curd slowly over a period of 12 to 18 hours. This allows slow and efficient nutrient absorption. Curd development allows for limited meal feeding of calves, compared to other continuous nursing species. Picture. Curds and whey. The fraction of milk that does not form a curd is called whey. Whey is composed of water lactose, minerals, and other proteins, specifically, immunoglobulins. Whey passes directly into the small intestine, for absorption and digestion within 10 minutes after feeding. From the small intestine, immunoglobulins can be absorbed into the calf's bloodstream. The lining of the rumen wall in an adult cow has very pronounced covering of papillae. These papillae are finger-like projections, that greatly increase the rumen surface area, the area through which nutrients can be absorbed. Rumen development. Physical size. By four weeks, if the calf is fed only milk or milk replacer rumen size will be small. Papillae and rumen wall development. Within a few days of birth, the calf's rumen becomes populated with microbes from feed, the environment in a cow. The papillae development is stimulated by the end products of microbial fermentation specifically butyric acid and to a lesser extent propionic acid. As milk, or milk replacer, is fed in increasing amounts, the abomasum grows in size, but the, the rumen remains proportionally small and grows only moderately. The longer a calf is fed large amounts of liquid feed, the greater the restriction on rumen growth relative to the size of the calf. Lack of rumen development causes a slump in growth rates after weaning. Feeding management can drastically development. A calf-fed grain, in addition to milk, shows a great deal more papillae development and a much thicker, darker, and a more affect their vascularized rumen wall. Calves that receive adequate amounts of high-quality colostrum grow better and are healthier. There is a narrow window after birth when calves can absorb immunoglobulins through their small intestine. Absorption equals antibody. The immunoglobulins found in colostrum are large proteins. These openings close shortly after birth. Immunoglobulins in colostrum, 70 to 80 percent, helps identify and destroy pathogens. 10 to 15 percent, first line of defense against infections. 15 percent, protects mucosal surfaces from bacteria. Colostrum also contains vitamins, minerals, energy, and proteins needed for metabolism, growth and stimulation of the immune system. To make sure that the calf receives immunity from the colostrum, management should focus on three factors immediately after birth. Three keys to colostrum feeding, how soon, how much, and quality of colostrum. How much, feed 12 to 15% of calf's body weight. 
Feed 3.5 to 4 liters of high-quality colostrum within the first 6 hours to provide calves with essential nutrients and antibodies. How soon? Colostrum should be fed within 1 hour after birth. Ability to absorb immunoglobulins declines sharply after birth. The figure shows, the calf's ability to absorb antibodies declines rapidly over the first 24 hours. Quality of colostrum. Use high quality colostrum. Colostrum should have more than 50 grams per liter of immunoglobulins, this equates to the green reading on colostrometer. A colostrometer measures the specific gravity of colostrum prior to feeding. The figure shows colostrometer with jar. Quality of colostrum determined by amount, dry period length, breed, and age of cow. Amount. If a cow produces more than 8 kilograms of colostrum, that it will contain sufficient immunoglobulins. Dry period length. If a cow has a dry period of less than 45 days. Often have poor quality colostrum, as well as those animals that experienced poor nutrition or heat stress during the dry period. Breed. Holsteins have poorer quality colostrum than other breeds. Colostrum from Holsteins typically are lower in immunoglobulins than colostrum from Jersey cows. Age of the cow. Older cows tend to have more immunoglobulins than first calf heifers, as they have been exposed to a greater number of pathogens.